Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go click subscribe. If you need IT consulting, go down and click that WillieHow.com link, fill out that contact form. Regardless of why you're here, I appreciate each and every one of you. So you're probably wondering why I have this old school Axis camera. So it is kind of old school in the fact that it is end of life. This is actually an Axis uh, P1346. I got this in a trade. So there was a school that I was working with. Oh yeah, you can see all the tools that I used to, uh, to take it apart. And it came in this really nice uh, enclosure, outdoor enclosure that was heated and cooled and, and all that. And I, I wanted to tear the camera out of there see which one it was, but I traded uh, for about eight or eight or nine, 10 cameras maybe. Uh, they tore out these axis because they got the end of life notification. There's, there was still support. You could still get firmware upgrades and stuff like that, but they wanted to put uh, other cameras in and they were just gonna throw these out. So I traded some consulting time for these cameras and every one of these axis cameras that I traded for is a really nice camera. So this, if you look this up on eBay, this thing is still going. People are still paying about 250 bucks for this, even though it's considered to be in a life. And as long as there's no security uh, problem and you don't have a policy that says that you can't run it. I mean, let's be honest, running an access camera that doesn't have updated firmware from 2020 is probably safer than running a hike vision camera, right? Um, so, but I, you know, either way, if you've got a policy that says all your firmware has got to be up to date, then this obviously isn't going to be for you. I am going to have this completely firewalled off um, once I'm done into a VLAN that it doesn't get any anything besides internet access because I'm going to show you CamStreamer. And CamStreamer, I want to thank the folks at CamStreamer for providing a license for me. We actually started talking about, about this back in February of this year, and then everything happened and stuff kind of hit the fan and everybody's priorities got kind of changed, but I'm going to show you cam streamer. We're going to hop over to the computer. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at it on the camera. It's an app. So if you understand or you know access cameras, you will know that these are basically Linux computers with lenses on them. And so we can load third party applications or other applications from access. One of those applications is cam streamer. And what it does, is it allows us to use our access camera as a live stream camera to Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, there's, I think there's four or five different places we can live stream this to. Now this camera uh, will do the live stream. It will not do the cam overlay and some of the other software that you're gonna see from cam streamer. But for what I wanna do, which is live stream to YouTube, this thing is money all day, right? It's, it's exactly what I need it to do. And so let's hop on over to the computer. Let's take a look at cam streamer. I'll show you the settings in the camera, what it looks like. Um, We'll take a look at some of the other people who are using Cam Streamer, and then if you decide you need uh, or want a live stream right out of your access camera, you can make sure it's on the compatible list and then go to town. So let's uh, go over to the computer and get started. Okay, so here we are. We are logged into the Access P1346 network camera. I just want to show you this is pointed to a rack. You'll notice a few blinky lights here. So this thing is actually pretty close to the rack. Um, I'd say it's about four inches from there. It's got a really nice, um, you know, lens on it. And in the daylight, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So I, I really, really do like this camera. Uh, we're going to hop over to Cam Streamer, and then we'll hop back over here to the camera. So here is the Cam Streamer website, and you can see right here it says live stream and security apps for IP for access IP cameras, and no need for a computer, easy setup, no monthly fees, and you get a 30-day free trial. And they give you you know some of the use cases down here, and you can combine some of their software. So you, if you see, they've got the Cam Streamer app, the Cam Overlay app, the Cam Scripter, and then the Store Occupancy Manager all have different use cases. You can go check it out. I'll leave a link to Cam Streamer down in the description. Um, but this is the software that you can, I mean, it's so full featured. It's embedded in the camera, it is super easy supports many protocols, many platforms, multiple streams, 
timing schedules. It has all kinds, all kinds of, of powerful features. You can download a, a 30 day demo. And if you don't um, know for sure, you can start searching for your camera model right here, or you can list all supported cameras. So if you click on that all supported cameras, it's going to come up and you can search then do just do a control F and search for your model. And then based on the model of camera that you have, then you're going to download the appropriate version of cam streamer here. Down here is the cam overlay app. So the overlay app is what allows you to overlay different kinds of graphics and things over the stream. Um, cam stripter, cam scripter and the store occupancy manager I've never used. I've just kind of uh, looked at them. So real quick, cam overlay um, is a smart application that allows dynamic overlay graphics. So I was messing around with it in demo mode and you can see here they've got where you can control graphics. So they've got a scoreboard. But what I was messing with was the, uh, the map and the weather just like this. And then you can put a, a scroller at the bottom. It's really, it's really pretty cool. And it does work. It just, it just works. All this software. Um, the Cam Scripter is a unique application that allows you to run micro apps directly on the Axis camera. So you can insert data from sensors, see who's just come in connect from your um, internal system. So that's pretty cool. So it allows you to do some level of, of scripting. And then the store occupancy manager, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this, like change. Um, yeah, so right here it says show marketing promos, trigger other actions. So you can actually change the digital signage in your store or in your area um, on the fly. It's pretty, it's pretty neat actually. But we are dealing with Cam Streamer because this this is the uh, application that you're going to see me using, and I'm going to have a dedicated channel for these streams. Over here, um, you can look at their live gallery. So if people have linked back to them, you can see what kind of stuff is being streamed using this software right now. And there is a lot. A lot of people use this in those access cameras. They have really good support, in my opinion. I was able to get some questions answered via email, and it wasn't an emergency. They got back to me in just a few hours uh, during the day, so I'm you know, really pretty happy with that. But yeah, you can go through here and look at all the different places that are live, stream, live streaming it. Um, you can buy directly from CamStreamer, and they deliver the software key instantly, or you can buy from a partner. Under resources, you've got your use cases, case studies, tutorial videos, image banks, blogs, uh, press releases, brand resources, and then they give you some more use cases and things like that. So if you do the try it, that's where you're going to be able to download the 30-day the trial, and it is fully functioning for 30 days. The Cam Streamer app is $299. You can see that each of these has a different price. And here you can actually do the cam streamer app and overlay app for $4.99. Now I don't have a camera that can run both of those. I don't think I'm going to have to look and see what I've got. Um, but you can do some really cool stuff when you start layering all these things together. So you've downloaded your, your demo. You know it's going to run on your camera. So what do you do? So you go in, you log into your camera, you go into setup. And every Axis camera has some level of this applications. And the applications are these third parties. So in this case, I selected my package to upload. I clicked Browse, and I selected that download that I got from, from the CamStreamer site, and it loaded. And you can see right here it says Cam, CamStreamer, and I have it running. So what we can do is we can go over here to the CamStreamer interface. And it's going to load. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me, where do I want to um, stream to? And I can do YouTube Live Events, Stream Now, a generic RTMP ingest server. So if you're running something out on AWS, you can do that. You've got DeCast, Microsoft Stream. Some of these services you may not even know 
existed. It's got Facebook Live, Microsoft Azure, Vimeo Live, IBM Video Streaming. Like I kind of knew IBM Video Streaming was a thing, but not really. Did I? You know, I didn't give it much thought until it was here. You've got Daily Motion, Periscope TV, Twitch TV, Wowza Media Server. So like we could do a YouTube stream now, and then they walk you through everything that you need to get started. So some of them you can do the API key, some of them you um, have to give you know a, a different um, security permission on your YouTube account to stream. But it's going to create a stream here and so you can see I would put in the uh, URL. So here's my, my server URL, my stream name slash key. So um, I could put my uh, key in here. Here's your video quality. So I would probably run it like the 10, the 1080. And then audio, you can um, enable that, disable that. So if I come to audio options, audio source, save, that's, that's the camera right there. And you can see right now, en enable microphone line, stream status, we click start. So this thing, it's really cool. So, and actually, if you were um, with me, uh, let me find it real quick. Hold on just a second. So back in February, when I first started messing around with the live stream software, I had a different access camera. And you can see that, uh, that I actually did a Sunday night stream. It was 27 minutes. And the entire stream was run directly from... Uh, from an access camera using this cam streamer software. So that's not how I'm typically going to use it going forward, but um, I am definitely going to be live streaming certain events. And uh, I'm really excited about that. So, you know, go check it out. You can get a 30 day demo. If your access camera will run it, get a 30 day demo, no harm, no foul. Maybe you'll like the software, maybe you won't. Uh, but for me, it's a no brainer because I don't have to have any, anything else. Everything runs embedded in the camera. So if you've got an access camera, head on over to cam streamer and, you know, check the software out. All right. That's it for this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using our affiliate links, they are down below. Don't feel uh, pressure to do that, but it is appreciated because it does kick a couple bucks over to the channel. I want to thank you again for being here. Everybody, whether you are a, a new subscriber, return viewer, whatever, thank you very much for being here. I do really appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.